Right. Okay. Welcome to this week's video where I'm going to share with you how I basically clone myself. <laughs> um, honestly, this is something I used to joke about a lot when I first started my business. I was like, I just want like two or three of me because there's so many things that I want to do and just not enough hours in the day. Or, you know, by the time I get to the third project, I'm brain dead and I, you know, I just don't have the energy to actually do it or do it in the way that I want to. And so I kind of set out on this mission to look for different ways that I could clone myself without actually um, having a clone, which now I have not figured out how to do that yet. But when I do, when this exists, you better believe that I will be buying one. Um, I'm saving already. Um, clone fund. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I do that almost create a second me in my business. And these are some of my favorite things that I think everyone should add into running the business. Okay, the first thing that I do that I'm very serious about is having repeatable projects. So something that I did a lot, and I see this constantly with my clients, is that we always have these new ideas, right? So what tends to happen is you create something once, let's say it's a webinar or a launch or um, you know something like that. And then rather than doing that again and improving it and getting the data on it and then kind of tweaking it a tiny bit, seeing if that does better or worse, and then doing it again and seeing if that does better or worse, or like, especially with a webinar, practicing the webinar, hosting it live, then making a couple changes based on what you experienced and then hosting it again and making it better. And then again and again, until you really make it, you know, almost as close to perfect as you really can, or as good as you feel like you can get it to a place where, you know, you're happy with, um, you know, your conversion rate or how much people enjoy it or whatever it is that uh, is your goal. Rather than doing that, I'll see somebody just create a whole new webinar or a whole, you know, now they're doing a challenge or now they're trying this you know, giveaway or something like that. And so we get so excited by these new projects that we almost forget to repeat projects that we already have that we can then um, leverage and improve. And so repeatable projects are like my, my absolute favorite thing. And everything that I create once, I intend to have it as an asset for my business. And so if you're working on a project right now, which I know you are, I know you have a project in the background or know what it is. Maybe you're starting a podcast. Maybe you want to have a new webinar. Maybe you're making a passive income product. Ask yourself, is this becoming an asset for my business or is this just a project that's currently taking up my time and is not going to, you know, um, it's not going to give me any return in after this time that I launch it or when I release it or whatever it is. So I'm always looking for repeatable projects. That's why I launch quarterly. A lot of times I recycle um, things that I already have. If I've created content, I try to recycle it or have it automated in the background. All of these things are really valuable to me and allow me to almost keep stacking each project so that I'm my business is, um, you know, all of the things that I've done in the past are still running for me now. So it's almost like there's little, you know, mini me's all around the internet, still doing that webinar or that podcast episode or that social media post. They're still out there doing their thing, really, you know, <laughs> spreading out in the internet. Okay. And then the second thing that I absolutely love and I swear by is having really serious processes. And, you know, you can do this in a bunch of different ways. And I'm going to give you an example of this video. So every week I film an IGTV like this one. Sometimes I get ahead and I film two or three, but I always follow the exact same freaking process every single week. The way that that goes is that at the beginning of the quarter, I map out all the ideas of things that I want to share um, on IGTV or in my emails or on YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Um, I map out all the things that I want to share. Then after that's done, I have some ideas. Then I create the title of this video. Um, so before I came up with the title, how I clone myself, I already knew that I wanted to talk about repeatable projects and processes, but that's not really that cool of a title. So the next thing that I do is come up with a really cool kind of catchy titles for each one of my videos that makes it a little bit more interesting and hopefully um, gets people interested in talking about kind of boring things like repeatable processes and um, projects. 
So then I create the really cool titles, then I write all of the emails. So that all happens once per quarter. I've talked about this before and I'm actually thinking about making a course or some kind of product on exactly how I do this so that it takes me like a couple of hours once per quarter. And then really every single week, it only takes me about 10 to 20 minutes to create really great content that ends up going everywhere and is recycled. So after I've created the titles and I've written the emails, that's totally done. Then every single week, I have a very specific time in my calendar where it says create content. In that little calendar, there's a link to the document that has the cool title, has the notes that I've made for myself about what I want this video to be about. And then it has the email. So in case I want to see like, what was I talking about in the email? And then I go live here and I film this video. Then after this, I have my own post recording process that I do that takes me a couple of minutes. And luckily I have a team who helps me with this too. But before I had that team, I did the same process just by myself. <laughs> um, and the great thing about it is that whether you're solo or you have a team, having repeatable processes not only allows you to do this quicker and quicker, because the more we do something, the quicker we can do it, but also it allows us to see what works and what doesn't. So then we can track, okay, what videos really work well, what processes work really well, um, what time in my calendar works well for me to actually record these videos, all of that stuff. Creating that process makes doing your projects so much quicker and almost creates like this um, robot-like reaction once it's done. And so the trigger is the, this being in my calendar. And then once it's filmed, the rest of the process happens. So that's where I try to always think like um, when I'm mapping out my projects and my calendar, I try to think like a programmer, like somebody who would be programming a programming a robot. I know nothing about this, but what I imagine it would be like from watching movies um, is that you're looking for things that are very simple, but um, like always true processes that you want the robot to go through. So I like to remove as many like decision making type things from my plate as possible so that I can show up and save those decisions for when I'm really in the zone and when I'm in the mood of like creating my content and making really sweet content. The rest of the time, I'm just following through on the processes that I know I need to create. So those are two really incredible ways to almost clone yourself and to just kind of start to create more processes for yourself in your business so that things don't take as long and you don't have to think, hmm, what should I make this video about this week? What should I talk about? What things are going on? Do I have any launches coming up or products that I need to sell? I know all of that is taken care of. If I'm sharing about something that, you know, is coming up soon, then it will be in this email. <laughs> I don't think I am though. Um, but yeah, I take all of that off my plate. So I show up like a robot. This is robot Alyssa. Nice to meet you. Um, CEO entrepreneur Alyssa is off brainstorming the next things. Um, all right. Those are the two ways that I kind of clone myself in my business. I'd love to know what things you have as repeatable processes or what things you would love to have your clone do. If you had a clone, I would love to hear that. I would definitely send my clone to like do my laundry. It, oh, ooh, it would be so nice to have a laundry clone. Um, yeah, and like Instagram stories, those would be great things for my clone. But anyway, let me know what would you have your clone do? And uh, let me know if you start to implement any of these repeatable projects or um, really clear processes in your business. Or if you have questions about how you can add more, feel free to ask me. I would love to talk about it, even though it's very nerdy. It's totally up my alley. So ask me anything that you got going on. All right. Talk to you next week.